Hey guys, it's me, Tybee from Tybee Time, and today we're making potato salad. So stay tuned. So here's everything you're gonna need to make my potato salad. I like to use five or six good sized potatoes. I Six or seven eggs, I got seven in here. And then for uh, the sauce that we put on it, it's sour cream, mayonnaise, and mustard red wine vinegar, hot sauce, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, dill weed. And over here, I'm in the process of making some bacon. So I'll, lit, I'll hook up a link to how I make my bacon if you'd like to learn that too. So let's get started. All right, to get started, you wanna wash your potatoes. And I also have a water bath here. So as you peel the potatoes, after they're all peeled, you put them in the cold water bath so they don't turn brown. So I'm gonna get all of these all peeled up right now and I'll come back and show you. Okay, so you can see I'm now cutting the potatoes to the desired size that I want my potato salad to be. So these are the size of the chunks that I'm gonna do. And I do it, I start cutting in half. I cut the back sides off. I do those first. Okay, then I do the big side, big part here. And if they're all relatively the same size, they're gonna cook, they're gonna cook at the same time. They'll be at the same doneness, the same tenderness. All right, so this is how I cut up my potatoes. And I'll come back when everything's done. And I'm putting all the potatoes back into that water bath to make sure they don't turn brown. Stay tuned. Okay, so now I've drained out that water bath. I have fresh cold water in this pot with all the potatoes and the eggs that I'm gonna boil. I'll bring those up to a boil and let them go for about 15 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, it is coming up to a boil and I'm gonna add some salt, but you know, you can't add a ton of salt when the potatoes are cut like this, but I'm gonna add probably two teaspoons. This is a really tiny little thing that comes with my little container here. So about two teaspoons of salt and let that come to a boil. Okay, while the potatoes and the eggs are boiling, let's get to the dressing. This is a heaping cup of mayonnaise, regular full fat mayonnaise. So it's a little bit more than a cup. And now I have a half of a cup of sour cream. You could probably use um, plain yogurt. I've never used that, but it can be substituted if you'd like to. Now this is optional and it's something that I do, but this is the drippings from the bacon. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of the bacon grease in here. Again, that's optional, that's up to you. If you don't like the sound of that, then hold off. Now I've got hot sauce, and I put a few dashes of hot sauce in. And I'll taste this at the end, and I may add a little bit more, but that's what I'm gonna start with. Now this is mustard. You can use any kind of mustard you want, a grainy mustard, I <laughs> just splattered. Uh, you could use just yellow mustard. A lot of people use plain yellow mustard. This mustard that I'm using is one of my favorites, and it's a horseradish mustard. Hang on a second. Now I'm gonna add some red wine vinegar and I just like to splash it. I'm gonna say it's about a tablespoon, maybe a tiny bit more than a tablespoon. And then over here, what I've done here is a teaspoon of each of these. I have salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, dill weed, and that's it. Salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and dill weed. So it was a teaspoon of each. And now I'm just going to get this all mixed up and I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator and let this you know, mesh together, meld together, marinate if you will. And uh, when the potatoes have gotten done and cooled off and we start assembling, this should be ready to roll. And again, I'm gonna taste it before we assemble, and I may add some more hot sauce. And you know what, this is an optional um, item also. You don't have to put hot sauce in it, but it does that look yummy. Okay. Okay, my timer just went off. I'm just gonna pierce a potato 
and the knife goes in very easily. So these are done. I'm gonna pull everything out, drain it. I'm gonna put the eggs in a different bowl and cool them. I'm gonna put the potatoes back in the pot and empty the water and let them start cooling down as well. All right, let's assemble. Here are the cooled off potatoes. I have the bacon bits. Now here's something, I do this all the time, I'm so sorry, but I always forget something. This is half of a diced red onion. That's optional if you want onion, and I think you probably will. Now a lot of people will add celery to their potato salad. I'm just not one of them. I don't, I don't, like, I don't like celery in my potato salad. Now here are the eggs all chopped up. And I also sliced three other eggs that I'm gonna lay on top. They're right here. I'm gonna put those over the top for presentation. Okay. So now we're gonna add the dressing that's been in the refrigerator, melding together and marinating, which is beautiful, if I do say so myself. All right, let's add all of that. Oh. All right, now we are going to mix, 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 and then put it in the serving bowl. Put the cut eggs on top of it, and then we're gonna leave it in the refrigerator for a few hours so that it can all come together. Oh my. Okay. So mix, mix, mix. If, if, if the potatoes bust on you, it's not a big deal. I like them to stay whole. I, I cut mine, I think, a little bit smaller than most people. I know guys like things a lot chunkier than I do. But you know what, you do what you wanna do, and, and I showed you how to, you know, how you can decide what you wanna do. All right, so there, it's all mixed nice. Now here, is the bowl I'm going to bring it to the picnic in. So let me put it all in there. Oh, looks like there's room. I could have done another potato or two. Jeez, that's not like me. Usually I have much too much. All right, so let's spread it around. And then what I do is take my slices of egg and put it all around. You know what I forgot to do? It's too late now. I forgot to check it and see if I wanted more hot sauce. So I hope that there's enough, which again is an optional ingredient. You don't have to have hot sauce in it. Okay, so this is how I do my presentation, and then I'm gonna sprinkle the top with some paprika. Hey, get in there. Well, that one doesn't wanna work with me, does it? But yeah, it's usually three hard boiled eggs that fit all around. And I like to overlap them. I really like hard boiled eggs in my potato salad, I don't know if you're someone that's like me. But I always go for a big scoop where the eggs are. That's just how I am. So see how I just overlap to use everything up? Because I want it all. Okay, let's get a little paprika. And then we're gonna take a taste test. Okay, final touch is just um, a dash of paprika over the top. I don't like it to be too heavy anywhere. Let me see if I can be gentle about this. Go high. If you sprinkle from high up, that's about all you need. And now we'll take a little taste. Let me see if I can sneak a little piece out from underneath an egg. Right there. See that? Mm. You know what, you guys? I make like the best potato salad. And trust me on this. Please try this potato salad. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, I was eating. Please try my potato salad recipe. Thank you.